Yeah. We can we can talk about the human donkey from Shrek himself, Jack Edwards. Now listen, Patty, I've been ta- I've been doing this podcast for what six Almost years, seven. seven years now. I've hated this guy from the minute it started. Just an absolute loser. And I'm curious though, like. How did you find out what he said? How random was it in your mind? Take us through the entire night when you realized this clown opened his mouth once again to make a fool of himself. Well, I guess our trainer was in the back was uh, listening to the game and he heard it. I guess it was he was steaming. <laughs> he was steaming the whole game. And like the guys knew, like the guys that weren't playing were like, they knew, but they saw me and no one said anything to me. So everyone was like keeping it quiet because they probably don't want me to blow a gasket during the game. Uh, so we're in the shower and Sam was like, hey, did you did you see this video yet? And he's not changed yet. I'm in the shower. I was like, what video? And everyone's like, oh, God, you're you're not going to be too happy. And I'm like, what? what's this video? Like, what do you mean? Like, what did I do? I'm like circling back and like, okay, what did I do? You know, did I do something stupid here? And I heard the video and I was just in awe. I was like, why would someone do that? And you know, it was cool. My team had my back one. My team really thought it was fucked up for two. So I felt better in that sense. Like, you know, and I was like, okay, maybe. And then I listened to it again. I'm like, that mother, like that, that was pretty fucked up. In my opinion, I don't understand why someone would go on and watch the puck go back to the Boston's end, back to Tampa's end, back to Boston's end, then back to Tampa's end, and still talking for a minute and 15 seconds. I just, I, there's no call. There's, it's not called for. If now, if I did something stupid or, like, if I was doing something and maybe he was saying something, but just to randomly just talk bad about someone for a minute and a half or whatever, minute 15, when I'm not even on the ice, was just unnecessary, in my opinion. Um I'm glad I cooled down because I didn't want to react on, you know, stupidity. I wanted to, you know, find a way and to do something. And trust me, guys, I was Steven Escarnelli. I was texting him. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He was pissed. <laughs> I was Steven. And I was like, I I was yelling at my PR department. I'm like, I'm gonna, what do I do? And I'm motherfucking everyone. I'm like, where is he? And I was like, I my face was completely red. Like, I just... You know, you should see and, his uh, teeth, dude. His teeth. Are hey, so appa- jumpstart a puke. It's hey, horrible. So, so apparently they put him on, in rooms opposite of where the teams are at whenever they're on the road, staying in hotels, because he just like he's just a pothead. I guess he smokes a ton. Is of he cr- a straight up? I guess, I, I guess he smokes a ton of cron. Now that might be a complete rumor, but we don't care. We're just firing back at this point, right? But, yeah, just some of the idiotic things he says. And, R.A., you said it best. You said over the years, like, it wasn't so bad maybe early days, but it's just progressively getting worse for the way he acts on the air. Yeah, I mean, I've always been a Jack guy. I know he's a homer, but, you know, I'm a Boston guy. He's been around for 15, 20 years, and he's just not good at uh, it. At the job lately, he's what sixty five now. I mean, you've heard of the game calls. They just stilted. They, he'll go like sixty seconds without talking. I, I don't know if the job is maybe past him. I mean, he's at retirement age. But you know what? He, with that it was just it was so odd, Pat, so unnecessary. And and then he came out with his own statement, like, and all he did was reiterate. You know, you would have thought he would have apologized. He he just reiterated what happened and said, "Oh, I've reached out to him through the team," which uh, it was kind of a useless statement. Now, had you ever even met him before? Did you ever have any interactions with him ever? No, so he did. He did reach out to the team. He reached out to our PR department, and which which also made. And I don't want to throw Jack underneath the bus. Listen, oh, yeah, I'm not trying. To, we will. I'm, you haven't done that at all. I'm not trying to get him fired. Like that's not my goal here. You know, right. he, he, that's that's not my goal. Like, but he did email the team, and unfortunately, he said. Here's my contact number. Have Pat reach out to me. Unfortunately, I'm not going to reach out to him. So Here's my contact hey, number? What hey, the fuck? G- g- give us and the number. We'll post it on the Chicklets Twitter account. <laughs> I'll, pr- I'll have Foley prank him for the Actually, Foley probably likes him. Foley to go to dinner with the guy. He's a so I don't, himself. I'm not, I'm not, you know what I mean? So I think that part of it was kind of upsetting. He didn't say sorry or nothing. He was just like, here's. If Pat, here's my contact information. Here's my email. Pat wants to reach out to me, which is unfortunate because I was like, you know what? And our guy's Brian Breesman. I was like, you know what? Just leave it alone. It's over. It's done. He reached out. Just wash it. And, you know, it's 
let's try to let's figure out what we, what we can, can do to make this negative thing into a positive and we 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 ended up sorting it out and it turned out to be an unbelievable situation on you know the tampa community and people around the league so it worked out great for those know, people like, for those people that aren't on social media so you guys ended up donating through the team and organization roughly fifty thousand dollars towards what yeah. cha- which charity and for what purpose patty tampa tampa thieves and it's uh we we're basically people that you know get made fun of for their weight or are struggling with something in the past and you know mentally it can take a toll on you and um i think for us we wanted to just find a way to turn a negative into positive and we did we we it went viral for one i think we're raising more than fifty thousand dollars right now we've we've got a lot of you know people that have been reaching out about it and um yeah man so it's it's it turned out it turned out good and um unfortunately as players biz you probably would have had the best comeback line probably and wit if you guys were playing the game you guys probably would have steamed off and wrote something but you know, it was just best I did it because at the end of the day, I didn't want Jack fired. And then if I said something stupid, then I don't want to get canceled, right? Then everyone's yeah. going to be at me. And then it's just a shit storm from there. So I was just like, let let's see if we can figure something out. And uh, yeah, but it's been great. You know, I, we've I, I, yeah. What I should get some of that money that's been donated. I was <laughs> tortured about my body my whole career. It's not fair. <laughs> it's not right. I'm scarred. Uh hello. <laughs> Yeah, listen. It's, exactly. It's, right. been, it's been my whole career, and like I told, so it does like upset you. Guys, I'm actually you. starting a question shaming charity, uh, Patty. Do you want to donate to that or what? I'm the coach, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to do you want to donate? Yeah, I'll donate a okay. hundred bucks. Okay, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And I'll just buy a, ca- a ca- one of your cameos back with it. Are you still on Cameo? I am, but I haven't done it in a while. I'm. I've been. Uh, yeah, I've been useless on that thing. I don't even think my app works anymore. They kind of they too, uh, they shut me down for a little bit. Too many requests. <laughs> too many requests, and then I'm not doing them. That's the problem. Patty, it seemed like a, a lot of people online were like kind of putting words in your mouth. Oh, he's a pro hockey player. He's a tough guy. It didn't bother him at all. But you know, clearly, clearly, it did. Did you, you want to kind of address that in some way? Like, you know, you're supposed to be not have feelings because you're a tough guy. Is that maybe how you felt people were reacting in some way? Yeah, I mean, yeah, so I was – I didn't really look at it like that. I just looked at it like, listen, if guys want to chirp me and, you know, if keyboard heroes want to chirp me on Twitter, I mean, that, I, I'm used to that stuff. And uh, I knew I was going to get chirped in Philly 100%. And I, someone from the bench, I don't know who it was, was like, you still fasting? Listen, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, I took the high road, but – I was I was just more mad. I wasn't I was mad of why he did it and why he said it. It wasn't and because I knew I couldn't do anything. That was a problem in my head and probably all your guys' heads. You want to react on something completely different and like be an idiot, but you can't. And you gotta be careful. You have to choose your words, you have to, you know, choose your the writing you're gonna say, and it's just what it wasn't worth it to me. And but yeah, I was just more pissed. All right, I was just like, why did he? It was just unnecessary. It was uncalled for. Yeah, I mean, what are the guys going to say? I'm soft for, you know, having someone shirt me. I don't care. I don't give a shit. That doesn't bother me. Like guys do all the time. And if they're going to shirt me, then guys are nice, and I, I guess we'll fight. But other <laughs> yeah. than that, yeah. <laughs> so it's a little different in your mind if you're saying it to your face as opposed to just like on the broadcast to all these people watching. And you don't even know it's being said, right? Yeah, it's yeah. basically like someone talking shit behind your back for no reason. You're just sitting there, and someone records it, and plays it for you. It's just like it's just, it's just uncalled for. Like, listen, if me, if you guys were on the ice and you're like, oh, Maroon, you're fat. I get it. That's the only joke people say. Like, I get it. Like, Murder, you're fat. Okay, I know. Like, okay, I get it. Like, come up with something different. You know what I mean? I get that all the time. It's the heat of the moment. Guys are chirping. Like, that's fine. But, like, when someone says that I've never met before 
is just chirping me for no reason and like telling him my weight. Actually, I came in at camp at 234. So he can, if he actually read the stat pack. What did he say you were? Did, 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 hey, did you chuckle a little bit when somebody from the Flyers asked if you were fasting? Or fasting? Nice fasting. Fasting? Yeah, I, I chuckle. That's it. I'm hey. gonna, like, like, like I said, though, Biz, I'm going to get it. Like, that, that's, that, that's going to happen, right? Like, and like I said, that stuff doesn't bother me. Like, but it's a guy that's on radio or national yeah. TV in front of whatever, millions of viewers or listeners, and he's just talking bad about someone for unnecessarily for a minute and 15 seconds. He's not even on the ice. The play went down, back, down, back, down. And he continues to keep going. And I was just like, I thought it was just unnecessary and wrong, in my opinion. And I, like I said, I wasn't trying to cancel him or fire him. That wasn't my point. It was just like, why? I want to know why he was saying that. Put you know what I mean? 2019. Like, I was going to say 2019. I, I, he bought her. I, that you I, took I, his Stanley Cup ring away from him. I would say yep. send up some uh, Crest white strips to yeah. the to the press box for next. No, time it's like him. if you're saying he smokes weed, his jibs are like he smokes meth. His <laughs> jibs are disappearing and camels. Fun. Yeah, they're crazy. So they're the, hey, hey, gritty though. Gritty had your back. There was a fun little sign he had going on. What? Did yeah, that say? was that was hilarious. By the way, what did it say? Tick. It's all thick. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's how, like, the, the girl's it? saying, like, you know, when they got the big good dunk dunks Ooh, yeah. you, ooh, oh, you okay. thick, thick, girl. Ooh, you thick, thick, girl. I got it right ooh, here. You thick, thick, Patty. Thick, what did it say? Thick, thick and tired of all this body shape. Yeah, I got it right here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was. <laughs> and then our mascot had a, a sign, too. Yesterday, walking to the game, I'm like, all right, no. All right. And I, yeah. Yeah. They are charity case. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I, I agree with Whit, though. I think that the. The Blues Cup is probably, I mean, Jack would probably never admit it. I bet that's, like, a big reason for it because he's an over-the-top homo. Like, because what else, what other logical thing would, would could you come to? Like, why he would he would do that, man? It, it makes no sense, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but, like, I don't know. I just feel like if us athletes did that and someone recorded it, we'd be in so much shit. You'd be playing for the you know Norfolk I mean? Admirals. Is that where their AHL no, team is now? you'd be playing for, like, the Neftahemic whatever in Russia. <laughs> What's up, boys? Fabs and Perron just got here. We're going to dinner tonight. Okay. Oh, where are you guys headed? Meat market. Oh, 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 oh. you're going to see some thickness there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good.